back into it with Madison Hughes and Dallin Stanford. Thanks so much, Ricky. That's right. South Africa ranked number one on the series against Canada. South Africa suffering an early blow against the hands of the host, the United States, 21 points to seven. And Canada going down to New Zealand, 26 points to five. Here come the teams right now. Phil Berner leads out the Canadians, and Zappi led out by Shakes and Soys, Wapi. So much on the line here in terms of this tournament. Of course, South Africa have the hunting ground, five times champions here. But they're up against it, a drop in early game, mate. Absolutely. The first game didn't go the way the South Africans will have wanted, and now they need to set the tone for the rest of their tournament. They've probably already got maybe a sliver of an eye on a big matchup later on against New Zealand, but they have to get the job done here against Canada first. Canada struggled against New Zealand for me. They were making way too many mistakes in attack, and defensively, New Zealand went around the edge of them way too easily. So they need to up their, up their tempo, up their accuracy in both attack and defense, and for South Africa, maybe an opportunity to pile on some points. Jake Hill gave the thumbs up there from Canada. Team just north of the border here, coming down from Vancouver. Beautiful sunshine here as our referee is ready for this one as well from Uruguay, Francisco Gonzalez. 62 games on the series. The Golden State welcomes you to the HSBC Los Angeles Sevens. Full B action, South Africa. To receive the kickoff from Canada in red. Zane Davids says, let's go. 100,000 earthquakes a year in LA. We expect plenty more this weekend on the pitch here. Home of the LA Galaxy. Dickney Hell Sports Park. Early take here for South Africa. Sheikh Soy's Wapi goes to Davids. On the outside to JC Pretorius, the Marvel superhero for the Blitzbox this season, particularly in the first four tournaments when they won gold at every single event. Shakes always walking the captain, decides to cut back to the short side. Pretorius is there, gets a strong carry and a bump as well. Put the Blitzbox on the front foot. Miller Duplessis back in the side. Great to see him carving up. Donis gets it away. Little steps here from Sean Williams. Williams is a elusive little customer. Just held up as Worst Jason feeds a beautiful ball to Milan Duplessis. He's back on the big stage, absolutely loving it. South Africa get the opening score. What a line from Milan Duplessis cutting in inside the Canadian defence. Once again, Canada's defence struggling. They get really, really narrow from the breakdown, committing a lot of numbers to the breakdown, and then they're leaving two numbers out wide. And Duplessis spots that gap, scythes right through the middle, and goes through to give South Africa exactly the start they'll have wanted and get some momentum at the beginning of this game. The extras are over as well. Muller Duplessis had a bad leg injury. He's back, though, the man from Poltrum in the Western Cape. His brother played his rugby just two hours away in San Diego, Major League Rugby. JP Duplessis now in Nola Gold. 7 0 South Africa lead. Don't forget, as far as the series stands, they need to make the cup final to put it without doubt to win the series. Kick goes over the top, the pot can't handle. Worst days and comes in, gets his hand involved, and it will be a South African lineup. Competition in the air, Canadian pod just allowing it to go in behind them. Um, and South Africa will have them have possession and another opportunity to start building on this lead. As we mentioned, points difference could become important in this pool. Who's to say? So that South Africa want to make sure they're taking all the opportunities they can in this match. Lana from Sean Williams receives it well. Darren Adonis goes across. Miller Duplessis bubbles it up, but puts a kick over to the top and chases here. Bounces. Good take here from Canada. So they look for a little step here from Josiah Mora. Known as Jojo Mora, the 24-year-old. He's been a stand-up for the Canadian side. Coached by Henry Paul Buck, penalty South Africa. South Africa putting the kick, in, kick behind, not retaining possession, but flooding that breakdown with numbers and lots of power and getting the turnover. I think a kick is often can be made good through the chase you get. South Africa showing that there, even though they didn't get the initial one, they had numbers at the breakdown, got the turnover. One of the higher kicking sides on the series. Try scorer Miller Duplessis. Floats one over the top to his captain, Shake Soys. Wapi for the corner, and he is in. Try number 152 in his career, scored his 100th in Edmonton, and he enjoys them here in LA. South Africa right from the tap penalty, move it wide. Canada's defense got really, really committed in the middle, and it was a simple looping pass out to Soyuz Wapi to wander over in the corner. See it here, just approaching the line. Duplessis puts in that long pass. Canadian defence just got so fixated in the middle of the field that they weren't able to cover across. 
Patrick saw his wife be nominated for SA Rugby's Sevens Player of the Year in 2021. Salutes the heavens. Kick will stay to the left-hand side. It's 12 nothing. South Africa were shakes man out of Dell College in King Williamstown in the Eastern Cape. With Neil Powell and Renfred Dezel, their coaches. Last series coaching job for them. Canada will take position at the halfway line, though. We've seen a number of those so far today. The kicker is not being quite as accurate as you'd expect at this level. Lots of kicks not going 10. So something that the teams, as they get deeper into the tournament, will make sure they're eliminating those sorts of errors. Well, Madison, you've kicked many times for the United States over the years. Tell us how long it takes to practice those restarts. They are aerial giants. Absolutely. I mean, it's such an important part of sevens. I mean, I have to say, it's easier sitting in the commentary booth and telling people they shouldn't be kicking in not 10 than, than when you get out there. Um, but no, I mean, these guys, you have to be so accurate because it's such an important part of sevens. You score a try, you retain the next kickoff. You can just chain together tries and really build up points. Henry Paul, in picture, and there's Neil Powell, both representing their countries. Henry, of course, for England. Neil Powell for South Africa. So here comes Canada now. A chance for them. They take it to the line. Pressure there as Jake Teal picks it up and then loses it. Always stays and has it for South Africa. Zane Davids. A battering ram. Adonis, lovely footwork from Darren Adonis. He's an excellent dancer off the field as well. A couple of bodies down for South Africa going through the walls. Canada making them fight in those breakdowns, but South Africa do get the decision and are going to be able to slow it down and allow their player to be treated. If they go down, can we get Jake Teal, uh, Canada number two? So, South Africa haven't won a medal since winning okay. the first four of the season, of course, but they had the anti ground here in LA, and the champions from 2020 to make it a replacement. Yeah, that's Jake Teal. Well, we started a campaign, Boots to Kick Cancer. He raised $100,000 for the Ronald McDonald House. That is brilliant work, Jake. Excellent from you and your teammates. Absolutely. I mean, it's so amazing what a, a lot of players, including Jake Teal here, do off the field. Thank you, uh, As important as their work on the field. Well, this is worry here for South Africa. Zane Davids, who has been their standout player this season, goes to the side. That's not a good for Neil Powell on his side, Zane David's school plays a 200th rival match against Bishops. His school, Ronnebosch, won this morning, so congrats to his alumni, including yours truly. Here comes South Africa on the outside, JC Pretorius looking to cut back in. Oh, Pretorius is a fantastic finisher, and he rolls over for the Blitzbox. They have their third in the first half. JC Pretorius with a fantastic finish there, stepping in on his left foot, and he really has stepped up in the last kind of couple years as a really emerging talent in that South African forward pack. They lost a bunch of their forwards a couple years ago, and Pretorius has really taken on that mantle and continued to show that the Blitzbox can produce really, really talented young forwards. HSBC Dream Team is voted by the fans in round one and two this season. Just powers his way towards the line. South Africa up 17 nothing in the first half, bouncing back from that earlier loss to the United States. Definitely shell shocked them early on. So that's Pool B still to face New Zealand. Oh, the South Africans, this is their second pool game. Canada as well played New Zealand earlier, lost 26 points to five. Try score by Alex Russell. Teal. No pressure on Brock Webster. Teal goes quickly. Canada, can they get them in here in the first half? Morrow has a lovely fend and a big crunch tackle on Jojo Mora. Last played back in the Malaga Sevens in Spain. Ball pops up for Josh Teal. One of the twins in the side. Plays his rugby. San Diego Legion. Just down the road. A few hours drive, depending on the traffic here in LA. Big tackle on Jake Teal. He's okay. Anton Kongo moves it away. Brock Webster, can he make something happen here? Webster is elusive, a little customer. Hi. Does well to keep in the field and play a high shot on him. So Cooper Coates wants to go quickly for Canada. Fires the dummy and loops the ball over the top. Teal flicks it back. It skills are plenty from Canada. And Jojo Morrow scores against South Africa. That is a Crowd favourite try from Mora. 
thought they might have wasted the chance, but the nice little flick pass does allow Canada to go over in the corner at the end of this half. We see South African defenders flying up. Good play there from Teal to recognize he didn't have time to catch that ball and then pass it on. And Canada do get the try at the close of this first half. Sustained pressure. And Jojo Mara with the Castaway Wanderers and Toronto Saracens has his name on the board. That's the half-time whistle kick unsuccessful there. And it's South Africa, the lead Canada here in Pool B by a score of 17 points to five. Well, a little bit earlier, we saw Ireland in action. Let's catch up with Billy Meeks, Australia pack. Billy, uh, first of all, just a short drive to the stadium from the uh, from your home today. Yeah, it's always nice to sleep in your own bed. Just popped down from Santa Monica, so that's a bonus. How good is it to be back in the green and gold, especially this weekend when there's so much on the line? Yeah, it's really special, mate. Every time you get to wear this jersey, you cherish it. And obviously a lot to play for this weekend, taking a game at a time. But uh, nice fast start there from the boys. It was nice to get one minute of game time at the end there and try and contribute a little bit. But, yeah, big weekend for us. And what do you make of the rest of day one here, the rest of the games in the pool? I've got a tough game against Argentina next. Obviously, um, yeah, lots of play for both sides. And then uh, we'll finish the game with Spain. So uh, we'll cut a couple of hours off now, and then we'll, we'll tuck into Argentina. Thanks very much. Good luck. Thanks a lot. Well, the HSBC Los Angeles Sevens bringing all the action in the finale is Neil Powell, strong start, and Colossal Blaine Davids will be tough for them as well. Absolutely. I mean, Davids is such a powerful ball carrier there for them. I mean, the Blitzbox are lucky they do have in Wistazen and uh, uh, Duplessis and, and others, Pretorius there. They do have other powerful forwards who can step up and emerge, but Zay Davids has been so, so important to put South Africa on the front foot, be strong defensively in the breakdown. Galaxy, the stadium here called Dignity Health Sports Park welcomes you back to sunny Los Angeles, the Golden State as it's known, home to Hollywood and the elite. And right now rugby's royalty is here in action. That's Zane David injured in the first half. A big blow for the Blitzbox as they lead this game 17 points to 5 after dropping the first pool game against the USA. Second half. South Africa kick to Canada on the right. Canada dropped their game to New Zealand early on in the pool stages. Look to receive this. It doesn't go 10. Second time in this game, South Africa have kicked it on 10. That one really went for the low flat kick, trying to keep this, sorry, trying to catch the Canadian defend, uh, receiver too deep. Um, kick not well executed though, and Canada will have the opportunity here. They've played each other 58 times. Canada have won six of those. Big fan from Jojo Mora. Scored a try in the first half. Takes on Adonis and Soy's Wapi brings him down. Canada. Short ball from Webster to Teal. Oh, what a flip ball back on the inside. Brock Webster beats the sweeper as well. That is spectacular from the Canadians. Really ex well executed there from Teal and Webster. Gave the short line. Looked like the South African defender was creeping to get the man out the back. Didn't pay attention to that. To Teal coming short on the hard line. Does really well here. We see Webster attack the line. Teal goes through and then Webster slides back. Duplessis does his best. Has his hands on him, but not able to bring Webster down. Has just enough pace and power to balance. To stay on his feet. Go over and Canada striking back. Getting into it back into this one. A brilliant response from Brock Webster on his side. Kick sails over 17 points to 12. Webster played with the Toronto Arrows in Major League Rugby, a winger in 15s. Electric in this game of sevens. South Africa started strong. Conceded the last two tries. Coates off his left boot. Goes to Williams and South Africa claim this. Four stays and is there. They get the penalty. South Africa just really controlled, getting up high in a pod, not even really giving Canada the opportunity to compete for that. And now they've got the penalty, can afford to slow the game down and start getting get, getting some possession, which they haven't had since kind of the middle of that first half and has allowed Canada to get back into this one. Good look at Adonis there, one of the newer players in the mix, a 23-year-old, as they train in Stellenbosch in South Africa. 
Morris Schoeman is there as well with his academy. So this is how it stands here currently. South Africa lead, but of course so many different permutations. Any one of those top four sides could win, including Australia, Argentina and Fiji. South Africa, if they get to the cup final, that'll be enough for them to clinch it. But as we know, this tournament has certainly delivered plenty of action so far as they drop their first game, need to win the next two. Bounce pass for the blitz box. Duplessis takes him on on the outside, finds Sheikh Soy's Wapi. They give him too much space, and Soy's Wapi uses his momentum, and the captain goes in the corner. Soy's Wapi with the big fend and the speed to get in the corner around Webster there, and the Canadian defence, once again, they're just getting way too tight, and when South Africa move into those wide channels, they're sliding across, they're having to drop off so, so much. Uh, Duplessis does really, really well there, the in and away, just gets Webster to look in for a split second, and that helps buy the space for Soyuz Wapi to go in the corner, uses his fan, uses his power to get over the line. Jake Soyuz Wapi slides in for his second. Climbing up the ladders, most tries for South Africa. Took over Justin Khadilt's record a while back, chasing Fabian Yuris in Cecil Africa, who have 179. Shakes currently sits on 133, and that's 10 points to buffer so far. If he gets a well-earned break. South Africa won gold in the first two Dubai tournaments, then in Spain, Malaga and Sevilla, but then 7th, 5th, 11th and 5th in London has them in this position as the other sides have caught up. Yeah. Canada go down, ball hits the lot, doesn't hit the line, now it rolls out. Yeah, just had enough on that. We've seen a few times today, today teams going for too much on those touchline kicks. And sevens, a little bit of territory isn't as valuable as possession. Cooper Coach, good skills from him. Silver medalist from the Pan American Games. Goes tight into the 22, Canada. Three to play. Wide ball for Webster. Webster dies for the corner. We will check to see if this is try or no try. Check. Okay. Tim check. Try Looks really, really close on the touchline there. The grounding, I think, was good. So the question is whether the tackler was Angela Davis there was able to bring that left foot out of bounds. Oh, I think he's got that down. I think that left leg is off the ground when the ball touches down. Don't know if we'll get a better look here. A oh, really, really good finish there from Brock Webster. Able to keep his body in the air while he gets the ball down with his right hand. Uh, and I think this try should be awarded. I saw try, um, couldn't really hear the referee's uh, mic, unfortunately. So in the end, South Africa will have a scrum feed here, up by 10 points. Can Canada disrupt? They need to score here to keep in the game. On the field is Branko de Prea, one of South Africa's greatest. Most successful player with 23 cup titles to his name for the blitz box. Adonis slams us downfield with his left boot. It's still in the field to play. Canada need to strike here. Brock Webster, who was oh so close moments ago. There's a lot of green jerseys in front of him. One of them is Miller Duplessis. And he throws it over the top football style to Jojo Mora. Mora rides the tackle of Angelo Davids. Branco Dupria gets in over this. He's such a solid sweeper as Branco Dupria. That experience. 
He's so, so good at keeping his footwork, keeping his body position, and then reloading really quickly. And I mean, he's a shorter guy, has such a good center of mass. He gets it in a very low position. And once he's in over that ball, so, so hard to dislodge. Uh, he's chasing Marius Skumon's record of 103 tries. I know there's probably a lot of banter down at the training center in Stellenbosch. Record of 32 years of age. Game South Africa, most capped player of all time in London, 29, moving ahead of the great Carl Brown. Substitutes made for both sides. On the field becomes Thomas Isherwood for Canada, knows that the mullet man will get a shot of his hair. There he is on the right of your screen. You can't miss him. Let's box fans. Want to keep the match ball? I'm sorry you can't. A minute to go in this full B game. After this, it's New Zealand, USA. The other two sides in it. Ryan Westhazen goes high as the lawyer. Across field. Nice little step. They try to get Shilton Van Beek in. James Murphy finds Branko du Prea. And again, it's Westhazen. Collapses his way upfield as Westhazen. HSBC Dream Team voted by the fans in round four, but penalty comes to Canada for holding on. Ishuit wants to crack on with things. He gets tackled just outside the 22. For the North American side. Around the fringes they work. Cooper Coates. Still there for Lucky Kratz. Here comes the mullet man now. Oh, big. Strong contact from Branko Dupree as well on Isherwood. Ngongo finds a bit of space here. Brock Webster. He's had an excellent game, has Webster. Finds the angle on the inside. And Ngongo is on after this. Canada will go in again. Time will run out on them. But this is a performance they can certainly be proud of. Absolutely have stepped up a big, big gear from that performance against New Zealand earlier. Thought that really wasn't the best I've seen the Canadians play. But today, sorry, today, in this game here against South Africa, the defence has been marginally better, but in attack, they've just looked off the ball a lot better. Haven't had those careless handling errors that really held them back against New Zealand. Not enough to get to get back and, and tie or win this match, um, but lots more to build upon from this performance. Kick ball, stay on the right-hand side. Yeah, Anton Ngongo, uh, Victoria British Columbia, has the final say in the game, but South Africa hold on to win their first full, full game here by 22 points to 17 over Canada. So South Africa back to their winning ways. Franco Dupre up with his side, keep their hopes alive. They have one full game later on today. Take on New Zealand in a mouth-watering fixture. They'll be up next for the Kiwis against the home side, the USA Eagles.